Hi guys, it's um 11:48 U.S. time, and I just got off work again, and uh, my boss made me close work. And if you can't hear, um, um, I'm now using my my computer to record my reaction videos because I don't have my iPad anymore because it was school property and they took it back at the end of the year. So I'm sorry, you just have to deal with it. Um, since I'm very tired. I'm extremely tired. Um, this is going to be my tired reaction to Into the Dalek. And um, I'm not going to be talking or commenting um, unless it's big, like it's related to another episode or something. Uh, just watch my face as I eat cheesecake. Enjoy. <sighs> What's wrong with the TV? I don't want to watch some dumb Next, I'll be on BBC America. You're probably feeling a bit sick. Please, don't. Where's my dog? I don't want the dog. Who's out in front of me? Who's that guy? How did I get here? I materialized the time capsule at Dr. Andrew and saved your life one second before your ship exploded. But do please keep your eye. My brother's died. Your sister didn't. You're very welcome. Put the guard down. For what? Or well, you might shoot me. Then where would you be? In front of your vessel. Stop dead. Try to find the lights that you are. I'm Lieutenant Derby Blue of the Combined Galactic Resistance. I demand you take me back to my command ship, the Aristotle, which is currently located. No, hey, not like that. You will take me back to my command ship, which is currently positioned. No, no, come on. Not like that. Not like that. Get it right. Will you take me back to my ship? The Irish stuff is a big fella. Pass me out to it, though, yeah? You sealed it. More or less. <laughs> Dry your eyes, Jimmy Blue. Grimes for civilians. I will communicate with you lot. It's not on the outside. No, it's a bit more exciting than going the other way. We have a battleship, medical insignia. It's a hospital. We don't need hospitals now. Dallas don't leave any wounded. And we don't take any prisoners. I think you're a little friend here, if that's in any way relevant to French. Oh, it's too sure. He did. Thank you. You're welcome. I wish I could have done quicker, sweetheart. Okay. Where is Clara? You did see a journey. And for that, I'm personally grateful. Well, however, the security of the space is absolute. So we're still going to kill you. Oh, it's a roller coaster with you, isn't it? Shoot him, bag him, and throw him outside. No! Stop! I'm sorry. He might be a duplicate. He's a doctor. And we have a patient, don't we, Uncle? Why does the hospital need a 
the doctor. Yeah, the doctor was not the patient. He's a solid figure before us. You don't like soldiers much, do you? You don't get to be like two good old guns. Wow. I'm an actual nanosphere. You know what it is, then? It miniaturizes living matter. What's the medical application, though? Do you use it to shrink the surgeon so they can climb inside the patient? Exactly. That tactic idea for the movie. Terrible idea for a proctologist. Are you going to miniaturize me? You're a doctor, aren't you? And this is your patient. Sad. You can't put me in there. Dark To the Daleks. I've never seen such a miserable bunch. What are you children? Yes, sir. You think you're funny, Fleming? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, you two dismiss. Fleming? So, Mr. Pink. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I did, thanks. Yeah, I bet you did. What'd you get up to? Um, I was reading. Oh, I bet you were reading. Well, I was, yeah. Yeah, I bet you were. Well, yeah, I was. I know your type. She wishes. Be quiet, you. So that's all the questions on page 32, except the last one, and then everything on page 33, all that into Thursday. The questions. So. Have you ever killed a man? I was a soldier. There were other soldiers and some of them weren't on our side. I should leave the rest to your imagination. And please, think of another question. Okay. Have you ever killed anyone who wasn't a soldier? Just to repeat that, all the questions on page 32, except the last one, and then everything on page 33, all that until Thursday, they will clear. Fine, I'll take the fun and then it's worth it. Oh, Clara, um, you've not met Danny Pink, yes? Uh, new fella, uh, Danny? Clara Oswald. Hey. English. Hey, nice to meet you. You too. Why don't you stop around here? Bit of a lady killer. Uh, I've always denied it. I'm not a lady killer. You know what I mean? Oh, Beth, can I have a word? Uh, what's it you that I saw outside doing a soldiery thing? Oh, yeah, probably the cold hall cadets. Just a bit of fun. <laughs> what, teaching them how to shoot people? There's a bit more to modern soldiering than just shooting people. I like to think there's a moral dimension. Ah, you shoot people and then you cry about it afterwards. Oh. Is there wrong? Nothing. Sorry, no, nothing. I just. I didn't think they'd say anything, that's all. Sorry? Have they told everyone? No, 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 it's, it's all I know. Nobody has told anybody anything. What, what are you talking about? Why did you just say the crying thing? I was being funny. Why? I just do that. Why? I don't know. Anyway, I am... Um, I've left some stuff in my class. Okay. Um, <laughs> see you. Are you going to the um, leaving thing tonight for Kathy? Um. Big guess. I, I wasn't going to. I am now because you're going to be there and suddenly it seems like the best idea ever. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Never mind. Good night. Change your mind. Excuse me? I I'm going. Uh, I'll give you a lift. Why not? Actually, now that you mention it, seems like the best plan ever. Thank you. I've got some reading. 
Oh, okay. Uh, maybe some other time then. Thank you. Wouldn't found you or the desk. How long have you been there? As long as you would like. Okay. Are you going to look that terrified when you take me out for a drink? I, I absolutely promise I won't. Hey, I'd like to be Why are you smiling? What's that? 